All right, guys, so today is such a big day for me. And that is because it is gonna be the first time I am traveling since the whole incident in Malta. Oh my God, yeah, that was that was super bad. Watch the couple of videos ago if you don't know what I'm talking about. I am a smile friend. <sighs> I've come to talk to oh, you no, again. I... But anyway, I need to get to the airport. Okay, so like I was saying, this is the first time I've traveled since Malta. Kind of stressed out, kind of worried for no real reason. But hopefully all goes as planned. I'm going to Vienna and as a layover and then to Prague. Okay, let's go get on our flight. like a half hour layover here in Vienna. There's almost no way I catch the flight to Prague. We'll see what happens. All right, I'm trying to get to gate F06. It says it's currently boarding. Don't really want to miss this because it would be a pain to stay in Vienna. All right, we're gonna see if we can make this. Guys, I think we made it. It was actually super close to where we got off. Uh, plane's still there. We're gonna check in. Oh my god, guys. I guess it's all odds. We made it. It's currently 12.33. The flight is supposed to leave at 12.55. So at 22 minutes is fair, which isn't a lot in an airport because like it doesn't actually leave at 50. Like the gates close at like 40. Whew, we somehow made it onto our flight to Prague. Perfect. Second leg of the journey now, on to Prague. guys so i made it to prague i'm just in the airport right now not much going on so let's go ahead and switch it to the city all right guys i made it to prague i've been looking forward to this so much it is time to go get a sausage <laughs> I've seen so many people walking around with one of these after lunch. You guys know what I'm getting. But for now, sausage. Hi, can I get a sausage? Alright guys, I just made it to probably the most famous spot in Prague, Charles Bridge. Super old footbridge from like the 1500s or something. But I thought that'd be a good place to stop and try this Czech sausage for the first time. Oh my god, guys. I'm gonna get 10 pounds this week at least. Just walking through the city, all the food looks so, so good. I'm gonna eat this, go on the bridge, and then go buy one of those donut ice cream things. <laughs> Let me go with the chippy. All right, guys, it has been acquired. I went pretty classic with some uh, vanilla cream and strawberries. Pretty healthy, I'd say, compared to some of the other options in there. I'm sure I'll have like 20 more of these throughout the weekend, but for now, this is the first one. All right, guys, back on the bridge with the tower behind me. Let's give this a try. God, I'm gonna lose it here. <laughs> I'm literally gonna gain 10 pounds and I'm not even joking. Oh my God, mm. so, so good. I made a mess. I'm gonna head to the Airbnb really fast. And then once I get there, I'm probably gonna go run because I haven't ran yet today. Grind don't stop. And then 
We're going to come back out for dinner at nighttime. Apparently, Charles Bridge is absolutely gorgeous at night, so we'll be back for that. All right, guys, so I did all of the stuff I needed to do, and now I'm going to head back into Old Town and uh, go to the main square there, which is supposed to be just absolutely stunning, one of the best in Europe. Grab dinner, <laughs> grab another one of those ice cream things. I learned they're called like Tesnekel or something like that. Okay, so I made it to the square, and you guys see this clock right there? That is 600 years old. The old astronomical clock in Prague. It is absolutely gorgeous. Square is so big compared to all the really tight city streets. It's a welcome change. Okay guys, so I made it to the other side of the river. Right here is Right here is the Charles Bridge, and then there's all of Prague behind me. You can kind of see the skylight of uh, the churches and all of that. It is so, so beautiful at night. You have all these little lights on the Charles. From here, it is so gorgeous. I know the iPhone quality does not capture super well, but oh my God, it is one of the most beautiful things I've seen in my life. start of day two here in Prague. Um, this morning I hiked up to the top of this hill and look at the view. I mean, I'm overlooking all of Prague right now. This is so, so gorgeous. My friends just landed at the airport, so they should be here super shortly. So I'm gonna go meet up with them. But again, guys, this was just such a good morning, just like reflecting, overlooking the city and all that. And I'm ready for today, ready to see what Prague can bring. All right, so everyone made it here. We're walking into Old Town now. Gonna Almost grab lunch. Jake, Almost. Uh, one, more, yeah. Jacob. <laughs> one more person still coming, but we're just gonna go grab lunch. You guys know, I'm, I'm gonna get another wow. sausage if Dude, I can, because so tomorrow. good. Alright guys, so no sausage for lunch, but these pancakes still look so so good. Lunch absolutely amazing. He's not, he's not kidding. It was it was unbelievable. But we're walking on this uh river walk right now. This is actually where I ran yesterday, right by the water, ton of boats docked, and you can see like old town Prague kind of back behind here. Hey guys, so it's about dinner time here in Prague. We're gonna get some typical Czech cuisine. Um, apparently this is just kind of choose what you want. I'll let you guys know what I'm gonna grab. Get in the local culture. Day number three here in Prague. We got a little bit of a rain going. Um, I'm out by myself this morning. Everyone else is still asleep because, you know, we're young. We kind of saw the nightlife last night, but people aren't up yet. So I'm going out by myself. I think I'm going to take a funicular up. Oh my God, I'm so lost. I'm going to take a funicular up to the top of a super big hill right by the main city. It should have some epic views. So let's do that. Also guys, I cannot believe how different Prague is from Barcelona. Like I'm not super far from Barcelona, like I'm still in Europe, but they are so different. Prague is so much more medieval and Barcelona is more modern. It, it's just such a different vibe. Like I cannot believe how different it is. That's why it's so essential to go to all the different countries in Europe because they're all so, so different.
white stuff right here. I literally have no idea what it is. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But like living in Barcelona, it literally has not gotten under 45 the entire winter. So it's so weird to see snow, even though like right now when I'm filming this, it's like the beginning of March. It's so weird to see snow. And right now it's like, it's like kind of sleeting, not quite snowing. It's like high 30s. So not ideal weather, but we're making the most of it, getting that true Prague experience. So I made it all the way to the top of the hill too. And it overlooks like all of Prague. Like you can see all of Prague. It's unbelievable. Let me show you what the view looks like really fast. Okay, so the real problem is there's literally trees blocking everything, but that's the whole city like behind me. You can see the red roofs and all of that and the river cutting right through there. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna try to find a place where it's open and you can actually see. I don't know why they have this great like observatory if you can't see anything. I don't know what it is, but there's literally no viewpoints. They, I think they make it so you have to pay to go up this observation tower, which I don't have time for. Okay, let's just cue some shots of like overlooking Prague that I've gotten in the last couple of days. Cause this kind of sucks. I can see it, but like, I know you guys, it's kind of tough, but okay, cue some shots. And then now I think what I'm gonna do is take the funicular back down the hill, head back into Old Town, grab a sausage, you know, always grabbing that sausage. Oh God, that sounded so bad. This vlog just went R-rated so fast. I'm gonna eat and <laughs> there's like no good way to say it, honestly. I'm gonna grab a sausage and then uh, try to meet up with my friends if they're awake. <laughs> Just snagged the third sausage of Prague. The second one's better than the first one, so I'm hoping this is even better than the second one. We shall see. I am gonna miss these so much though when I go back to Barcelona tomorrow. So good. We're here in City Hall and we're gonna go to the top of the clock tower, hopefully. Um, that should give us some great views of Prague. Let's go. <laughs> so it's starting to be evening here in Prague. We're gonna head up one of the Charles Bridge Towers, try to catch the sunset over the city. And that'll basically wrap up the entire trip because my flight leaves early tomorrow morning. So yeah, let's head to the top and see that sunset. Final day here in Prague. <laughs> well, not really a day. It's 7.30 right now. I'm basically just going to the airport. It's a full-on travel day today. I'm just basically heading back to Barcelona. I think I'm gonna walk by Charles Bridge one more time, take it all in, and then head and catch my flight. Whew. All right, guys, that's gonna do it. I am gonna go catch my flight. That wrapped up my entire weekend trip to Prague. I had a blast in Prague. It was such a cool and unique city. Definitely recommend it to any of you guys who managed to get out to Europe after this whole pandemic thing ends. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.
to Barcelona, ladies and gentlemen. Please keep your seatbelt on until the aircraft has reached the final time. So I found this clip of me talking about coronavirus on March 1st and seeing as it's now a month later I thought it'd be interesting to play for you guys and just show how much things have changed in just a month. Also guys I'm starting to feel a little bit under the weather. Hopefully it's not coronavirus because that's actually a huge deal in Europe right now. Like I don't think coronavirus itself is too serious like I think it's a little bit overblown. Hopefully it goes away pretty quickly. <laughs> 